Maraming salamat po, Mr. Chair. Magandang gabi po. Malinaw po ba ang aking boses? Malinaw na malinaw po. Magandang gabi po sa bawat sa po sa atin. Dahil medyo malalim na po ang gabi, babasahin ko na lang po ang aking manifestation. I am, I am one of the few authors who wish to grant ABS-CBN a new franchise. As I desired to give it a new lease of life. I filed House Bill number 6901 because the party list group, the Bayan party list that I represent, was of the initial impression that ABS-CBN is worthy thereof, and while ABS-CBN is not a perfect company, it will strive to be better. Further, at the time I filed the bill, we were of the impression that ABS-CBN will be able to fully explain and rebut the numerous alleged violations hurled against it on the constitutional requirement of Filipino ownership and management of mass media entities, on labor laws and standards, on non-payment of appropriate amount of taxes, on legal assignment of franchise without congressional approval, and biased reporting, among others. Finally, we initially thought that providing certain parameters to address the alleged violations of ABS-CBN in the franchise to be granted will be welcomed by the applicant. The proposed seven parameters are, first, strict compliance with the Constitution, laws, rules, and regulations, including labor laws and standards. Promotion of employment and security of tenure. Ensuring impartial and balanced reporting. Promotion of positive Filipino values. Provision of public service time. Strengthened self-regulation of contents and reasonable and equitable rates of election ads. Most of these proposed parameters were already present in ABS-CBN's expired franchise and in the current franchise of other networks, while the others are deemed written therein. Wala po akong nilalatag na bagong regulasyon sa pangkisa ng ABS-CBN. Nililinaw at iniisa-isa ko lang ang mga ito na pamantayan na kailangan nilang sundin sapagkat sa dami ng aligasyon ng paglabag lumalabas sa nakakaligtaan o napapabayan ng mga nagpapalakad ng ABS-CBN ang mga obligasyon nila sa bayan at sa ating mga mamamayan. And yet, I was reported to be imposing strict regulations to ABS-CBN with our proposed parameters. ABS-CBN's Christian B. Esguera reported, quote-unquote, that the proposed parameters, quote, were seen as the government's way to control the shattered news network repeatedly criticized by President Rodrigo Duterte, unquote. Journalism professor Christian Esguera passed it on as a news article, and yet the first sentence is already laced with his biased personal opinion. Okay lang po sana kung sinulat ni Ginong Esguera isang opinion o editorial at hindi news article. Mr. Mr. Esguera's inability to be impartial is perhaps the primary reason for his fierce objection to my proposed measure. He had difficulty separating facts from opinion, for indeed, news should be about facts. And if one has to report an opinion, then there must be proper attribution. But it's a cardinal sin for a journalist to pass on his opinions as facts. Now, as the hearings draw to a close after spending many days, several weeks, and countless hours listening to the, the, the testimonies and answers of resource persons, both for or against the grant of a new franchise to EBS-CBN, in which I have actively participated, my party list and our constituents who expressed their sentiments in our social media posts are convinced that the, the pieces of evidence presented discussed and distilled in the hearings favor the oppositors. Sa pagtatasa namin, ang mga inailatag na ebidensya ay mas pumapabor sa mga hindi pumapayag na mabigyan muli ng bagong prangkisa ang ABS-CBN. My party list group deems that ABS-CBN failed to successfully rebut the long list of alleged violations, and thus, this representation cannot anymore support the grant of a new franchise to ABS-CBN. Dahil dito, hindi na kayang suportahan ng kabayan party list ang pagbibigay ng bagong prangkisa sa ABS-CBN. 
I am respectfully manifesting to this honorable committee my withdrawal of my authorship of House Bill Number 6901. I have already submitted this afternoon to the bills on index of the House of Representatives my letter formally withdrawing my authorship thereof, a copy of which I will send to the Honorable Joint Committees. Before I end, Mr. Chairman, my heart grieves for the ABS cbn employees who face possible displacement, particularly at this time of the pandemic. As an act of redemption for its employees, I hope that ABS cbn will be generous enough to attend to its employees' needs in these difficult times, as it may be its last act of, of magnanimity to the people it has considered its family. In any case, I am also certain that this will just be temporary setback to majority of its employees, as other networks and stations will readily accept a workforce that comes with proven talents and expertise. Nonetheless, I shall continue to push for the inclusion of the seven parameters I, I outlined in House Bill 6901 and 6902 particularly a pro-labor pro provision to be the underlying principles of all broadcast media in the Philippines. Mananatili ang aming marugdob na pagnanais na magkaroon ng malinaw na proteksyon sa karapatan ng ating mga, mga manggagawa sa lahat ng networks. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Chairman.